Hello, this is Rob Fortney Jr. from 123Amazon.net. Welcome to the 15-minute boot camp to help you start your Amazon business. Today, we're going to talk about Jungle Scout and the Chrome application with Greg Mercer, the developer of Jungle Scout. If you're interested in getting a discount, please visit our website at 123Amazon.net or click the link. Hey, Greg, let's share how you find 300K a year products. So, great. Um, Well, if if you could, could you give us, because some people obviously have never heard of Jungle Scout or don't know, or can you kind of give us an overview of of actions and does? Yeah, absolutely. So, Jungle Scout is a product research software specifically for Amazon and Amazon sellers. So, if we back up a little bit, um, I've been selling on Amazon for... Uh, like three and a half years now, uh, I found the biggest uh, roadblock I had in scaling my Amazon business was the product research phase. It's so critical. If you find a good product, it's like, almost like a shoe in. It's all downhill from there. Very easy to be successful. If you get a really tough product, then it is um, really hard to make it successful. So, you know, what I found was I was like, okay, I just need to be able to find more good products. And that's kind of how Jungle Scout was born. Um, Before then, it was very manual. I was collecting lots of data manually, making these huge spreadsheets. To be honest, I actually had like a small team in the Philippines that was helping me, and we were literally spending hours and hours and hours every week. Um, So then, uh, yeah, Jungle Scout was born as an automatic way to collect all this data, neatly organize it, so you can uh, quickly and easily make educated product research and purchasing decisions. Well, fantastic. Uh, That's exactly how we use it. Um, (laughs) We actually take it and we, uh, the gorillas and a lot of the members have, uh, I mean, nothing similar, but we just kind of have to keep track. We try to keep track of all the data too, as well, um, from many other different places too, and try to put it together. Obviously, uh, I know that our people use Jungle Scout a lot more in the boot camp than anything else. And people often go, what is the, if I got to have one thing, because, you know, they're bombarded by, you know, many, many offers for similar or, you know, different ways in which to do it. And every time I always say, you got to go with Jungle Scout. So we're, we're definitely big fans of what you do, Greg. Awesome. Thanks for the kind words. And yeah, if you're just getting started, like looking for a product, uh, I mean, it's, it's a great tool for that. We can kind of talk about it today. Yeah. Okay. So, um, why don't we just like, why don't you, maybe we'll start out with like the older stuff, you know, like what, what the real essence and how jungle scout actually works or, you know what I mean? Like here's what the basic tool does and then we can kind of build on top of that, you know, up to the point where you, you know, the web app and how that works and, you know, we go through that. Sure, sounds good. So uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen then so you guys can kind of just follow along with me. Hey, and if you guys could uh, maybe hold on to the end of the webinar and we'll catch up with any questions or anything that you might have. All right, so uh, can you see my screen now, Rob? I sure can. Excellent, all right. So um, yeah, I'm just right here on Amazon. I made a search for marshmallow sticks. I chose that because this is one of my products right here, uh, aptly named Jungle Sticks. (laughs) Um, So what you do is you can make a search anywhere on Amazon or any of the seller pages or just about anywhere you see products. And Jungle Scout extensions, uh, an add-on to Chrome browser. So you know I'm inside Google Chrome right now. After I've installed it, I have this little JS up here. And I can click it and it will gather all the data from this page. that is relevant for product research type decisions. So I'm gonna zoom in actually so you guys can see it a little better. Um, So what we're looking at here, you know, this is the product name, uh, the price, the rank. This is a really important column, the estimated sales. Um, We also have the number of reviews. This is the net after the FBA fees, so how much money is left over after Amazon takes their cut. And these are a lot of the very important key metrics to look for when um, doing product research or when selling a product. So, um, <clears throat> what I like to look for in a brand, or, you know, so I have some rules of thumbs that I look for in a brand new niche. Um, and I can share these numbers with you. Um, you know, everyone has them a little bit different. Uh, Rob's might be, you know, it's probably slightly different than mine, it's slightly different than the next person. But, you know, I found these work for me. And then, Rob, I actually like to hear what kind of has been working for you. But, um, what I look for is in the estimated sales, 
I like to see a total of 3,000 units being sold every month across the niche. So if I look at all the products that are selling marshmallow sticks, um, I like to see, so these all look like marshmallow sticks. If there, one, if there was one that, that wasn't a marshmallow stick, like let's see, uh, this one all was, but sometimes there'll be like, for instance, like might be actual marshmallows on this page or something else. Then I would just X that one out and I wouldn't add it up. So I would add up all the ones that actually are marshmallow sticks and try to find 3,000 units of demand. So this product uh, meets that test pretty easily because even in this top three spots, I have about 3,000. Um, the next thing I go and look at is the number of reviews. And this is the easiest way, I think, to uh, gauge the amount of competition. So in a really like mature, competitive niche, there'll be tons of reviews. So um, I like to see in the top 10 spots that there's like three or four people with under 50 reviews. And to me, that means that it's something that I can probably get into. So um, for this particular niche, it's now what I would consider too competitive. Uh, when I got into it like six months ago, uh, there weren't all these reviews. Um, and that's kind of exactly what I'm talking about. You want to try to find these like less mature uh, type niches. So if it met the demand criteria, met the review criteria, the next thing I'd start looking at is uh, the price, the uh, uh, the Amazon fees to see how much is left over for net and so forth. Um, as far as price goes, I actually try not to sell anything for less than $20. So this one's, my product right here is $19.88, 20 bucks. Um, and that's actually as low as I usually go. Because as you can see, like for this particular product, uh, there's only $10 left over after Amazon's fees. So thankfully, I can land this product for like $4. So there's still $6 of profit. But um, as you can imagine, as you get to these lower price points, like 10 or $12, there's just not a lot of money left over to be made in profit. So um, yeah, those are some of the criteria that I look for. Uh, how does it differ for you, Rob? I, I'm very similar. Now, one of the things that I look for is, um, is those top three, the top three or four people. I want them to have a little, little bit of reviews. I want it to drop off dramatically as I go to the page, but I, if they've got some, re it shows me that the category has a little stability in it, maybe. So, ah, cool. but then I want, and then one of the criteria we use on our little spreadsheet, what we look at is, is you know, how many people have less than a hundred reviews. So very, very similar. I just like those top. I want to see there's at least a mature person in there that's been selling. That there's some numbers at the top of that. And then one of the other things that that I look for is, is I don't want the top four people. To have more than you know, sixty percent of the page, you know, as your the revenue drops down or the sales, I don't want like all the cop guys only getting all of the all of the uh, sales and revenues in that. Category. Yeah, that's a really good so, point. And a lot of times so, I'll refer to that as like depth in market, right? So like you don't want if this yeah. guy just had all the sales and everyone else was selling like a hundred. There's something funny right. going on there, right? He's probably like a really known, well uh, well known name brand or so forth. So that, that's another good point. Yeah, so I mean, I guess it's I mean, it's very, very similar. I, I, I'll let those top guys, I don't want a bunch of people having over a thousand, but like I'm okay with 500 and 700. And then like I call it the fall, like how does the numbers fall down the page? You know, and, and, and I always like to see a, you know, a pretty decent fall. Now to me, this one's really heavy loaded. As you could see, you know, there's one, two, three, four. They're doing probably 70% of that first page. Right. You know, so anyway, that's just something that, that it jumps out to me um, sometimes, you know, when I'm just looking and I, and then obviously the biggest thing for me is, is where that net comes. I also don't, my, my target uh, is between 17 and $50, really 35. If I can get there, if I'm close to that, I may try to jump over now uh, to get out of some of the competitive stuff under, you know, I five on some products, I kind of mix them up in what I'm doing. Cool. That's good to know. I think nineteen. I think nineteen is the number too. I think twenty dollars is your bottom number because unless you're landing a product for a dollar fifty or two dollars, you know, anything below twenty doesn't leave enough margin. Right. That's what I usually think. So, um, yeah. So you know, I was, I gave you one example there uh, just because you know I had a product that was selling in it. Um, of course, um, you know, we could try some other uh, just examples here just so you can understand how Jungle Scout uh, the extension works. So again, you know, you just like make a search, you'd hit the button. Um, it's going to, within a few seconds, populate all this information. And then again, 
Um, you know, if we were to look at this particular product to see if it was a good one, uh, we'd see that, you know, judging by my criteria, if I'm looking for 3,000 units in the top 10, um, this one probably, probably doesn't have it. Um, if I were to add all those up, it's probably only 1,000 or 1,500. Uh, there's not many reviews, which is good, which means it's not a very competitive. Um, if we went by kind of Rob's criteria there, th this guy is probably like pretty stable, right? He has 620 reviews, but this is pretty easy to, it would be pretty easy to enter into this market. Um, but they're not selling a ton, right? Like 120, 83, 174. Um, since it is an exercise product, it probably does really well in uh, January, February. But other than that, it looks like sales might be kind of slow for my particular taste. We try to keep, uh, my number is, I want at least to have, I want under 250,000 in sales in my number. Because I'm trying to build, and, and just my strategy is, is I'm trying to build multiple products doing smaller amounts so the competitiveness, I don't have to worry, you know, I, I can be on a page two and do a 2000 or $3,000 sales month and make 500 to to $1,000 a month, but multiply it times five to six products. So I'm not competing as hard. And that just happens to be my strategy right now. Heck, I changed yeah. it, you know, two times around, so. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, I guess what's kind of neat about Amazon, Rob, is that like there's a lot of different strategies like that that work, you know, like you could try to go for a single home run, you could try to go for uh, multiple products that don't sell quite as much. Um, me personally, I, I'd probably say I go for something in between there. I like to sell at least like uh, 300 units per month for all my products is what I shoot for. And then, yeah. um, you know, I, I like to have multiple products so that uh, you know, if one starts to get really competitive or if some, you're out of stock of one, kind of all your eggs are in that basket. Hey, you know, and here's something that you'll laugh at. I'll show you later is that I did, I have this product, not that one, but the, the, the actual sticks, like the telescopic sticks that are in there. I actually have the box design and everything done about, I mean, it's got to have been eight months ago. So I was on that oh. curve and then something came up and I didn't end up launching. I actually had the bids on the product. I mean, I had everything was done, box design and ready to ship. <laughs> and then something happened and I did something else. So it's funny <laughs> how. So I was in the same vein as you're running down the same track. That's funny. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I guess, you know, as you can see, so the, the Jungle Scout uh, extension, it's really good, you know, if you have an idea, uh, if you're thinking the telescopic sticks or the uh, Pilates ring or whatever, um, within seconds, you can tell whether it's kind of a good, um, a good market or niche to get into. You know, before that, I was going in, I was clicking on each product. Uh, you'd have to scroll down here, look at the best sellers rank, and then you know from there decide whether or not um, you thought that was like a okay best sellers rank to sell in. But I mean, keep in mind that Amazon itself doesn't tell you how many products uh, this unit like sells each month. Did you lose my screen, Rob? Uh, yeah, you, I went back to you. Your pretty <laughs> smiles on there again. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why that happened. Let me try As you're one. doing that, one of the things that I think is very important, though, when you're dealing with this, when you're dealing with the page that you're, that you're on, it's super important that you know what keywords, because basically Jungle Scout gives you the answers to the keyword you, you, you put into that search on that page. So you can maybe, you know, and I don't know that to be true on the Pilates ring, but there may be another, you know, it may be the, the main keywords exercise ring and you've checked Pilates ring and it's only going to give you, I had a client who came to me, oh, I've got this great product and they were um, yoga socks, right? So she uh -huh. somehow had used the keyword Bella socks and, you know, she thought she had a deal and I said, you know, uh, go look up yoga socks and it like are yoga socks as opposed to Bella socks and it like, you know, it was like exploded on her. So um, I think right. it's totally important to make sure that you're searching, you know, in your keywords that you've maybe searched a couple of them or making sure that you have the main keywords. And sometimes what I'll do is, as uh, you know, the, the auto, the auto suggestions that Jungle Scout gives you is a good way. And then, you know, for the $9 a month to pop over to Merchant Words and, and, and get that, you know, get that key phrase to make sure sure that you are searching you know the three phases because one of the things I look for is how many competitors there are in the category as we talked about how many pages are there 500 competitors or there 200 or whatever it might be and all the competitors so I have accurate information so I, I, I make sure at this level that I 
double check keywords and make sure that I've got the keywords that matter for sure. Cool. Yeah, that's a good point. I hope you enjoyed this Gorilla's 15 minute bootcamp on how to start your Amazon business. If you'd like to receive a special discount and 30 minutes of personal training on how to use Jungle Scout software, click the link or visit our website at 123amazon.net. In the next 15 minute Amazon bootcamp, Greg explains his Jungle Scout web application that actually searches products with specific attributes of products on amazon.com whereas the Chrome app analyzes the products you find. He's going to show us his successful strategy to finding new products to sell. Visit our website at 123amazon.net for tons and tons of free training tools. I have one more important thing that won't take but a minute of your time, and it could help you be extremely successful in the Amazon business.